For three Brisbane summers, the sun has helped cool Sandra Englart's home. Solar panels power the retiree's air conditioner during the day, generating more energy than her household uses. But a battery to store that excess energy was out of her price range. It was quite expensive really and we just couldn't see that it was economically viable proposition at the time. Community batteries absorb a neighbourhood's excess solar energy and redistribute it locally when demand for power is surging. We're really at the start of seeing the deployment of significant amounts of uh, community batteries. They can be as small as a few fridges like this one in Melbourne or large enough to power 4,000 homes like this one in Townsville. The federal government has promised to roll out 400 and get the first up and running this year. Households will be able to apply, um, to participate, um, to store their renewable energy and to get the benefits of storage without going to the costs of a household battery. The government says households will have to pay a small administrative cost to use them. We're in most cases talking a couple of dollars a week but certainly the benefits of the reduced bills from being able to store renewable energy will far outweigh that cost. From the 30th of January, groups can apply for grants to install the first 58. As well as helping to decarbonise the energy market, community batteries help to ease pressure on the grid caused by the high uptake of rooftop solar. New South Wales distributor Ausgrid is trialling three community batteries in neighbourhoods with a high concentration of panels. And they're designed to solve local issues such as uh, network constraints, uh, over voltage associated with too much solar. Preserving cheap energy for when it's needed. Alexander Lewis, ABC News.